Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again, and uh, we got some more news today. Got some more of that news. Um, I'm just getting off of work, even though it's funny because like my job only got me working like every other week right now. So basically, I'm furloughed half the time, and then working here, it's just it just sucks. It's like either work me or don't work me. That's how I feel right now. But still, got to be blessed to still you know have somewhat of a job right now, somewhat. I mean, because it could be worse, right? Um, God's willing. Um, hopefully, there's an end to this soon. Now, there has been talk that the uh, you know teams have been allowed to go back to their facilities. We already know that uh, the I think the Texas, as far as the Cowboys go, over there in Texas, they'll they'll be able to um, start functioning next week. Um, I know Jerry went back this week. <laughs> went back. I know he was at his desk. Like, oh, I love this. Just, just coming back to my office, just, just, just seeing all this wonderful stuff. So, I mean, I it just, it gives you a little bit of glimpse of hope. You know what I mean? Um, we know that they've been doing their virtual meetings and things like that. Um, I'm gonna talk about Mike McCarthy after, after I finish my main story. But uh, news came out today: Alden Smith has been reinstated. So Alden Smith is now reinstated conditionally. Now. I don't know exactly what those conditions are, but normally when a player, just for you guys that don't know, and, and you should know because we've had a lot of Cowboy players that have gotten in trouble before um, that have come back from suspension on conditionary uh, for, for those reasons. And long as you do this, that, and the third, you're reinstated or you can continue to be reinstated. You remember when Randy Gregory got in that trouble before? when he got reinstated the first time. So when he got reinstated the first time, um, you know, they said that he had to not smoke no weed over a certain amount of time, blah, blah, well, period. Um, and if they and, and, and they were doing surprise drug tests with him. And they did a surprise on one day. I guess he had a relapse and he smoked that weed. And, and then, you know, they ended up getting him, getting, he got caught up and then got suspended again. So... Um, Randy Gregory's not reinstated yet, but if Alden Smith just got reinstated, there's no reason why Randy Gregory won't. So just for you guys that are asking, well, that will ask that question, just know that, that Randy Gregory will get reinstated after, soon after Alden Smith. So we got Alden State, uh, we got Alden Smith on a conditionary, uh, conditional, um, thing. I assume his conditions are not getting in trouble, no off-field issues, things of that nature. So normally your conditions are based off of what you got in trouble for. That's just common sense. So I'm I'm pretty sure that he's got a lot of conditions, you know, and they're and they're probably going to be a little bit more lenient on him than Randy Gregory because he's been out for years um, and he's done his time. So uh, he just got to keep his nose clean. And I'm pretty sure he'll do that. And, and and from hearing his interview and hearing him talk and things of that nature, he's ready to roll. You know what I mean? Like he's if if he could be seventy percent of what he was when he was with San Francisco, when he was with the Raiders, if he could be seventy percent of what he was when he was with San Francisco, that's a win win for the Cowboys. Because you don't need him to because they're gonna rotate their defensive line anyway. You don't need him to be hella dynamic. I mean, if he does, by all means, I mean, Jerry Jones and, and company will look like a genius. But I think it was a good pickup altogether anyway because, again, this is a guy that's hungry. And and from what Big Game James said from his trainer that, you know, he's ready to go. You know, he's a, what is he? He, he said he's a, he's a battleship. There's, what did he say? What did Big Game James say last night? He said he's a battleship that just been uh, sitting for a while, that's ready to get back into action. That's pretty much what it is. But we'll see. We'll see. You know, because a lot of this, we need to see action. We need to see some things transpire on the field. When we see that, then we know it's real. Um. Also, too, um. I, he he had to get reinstated, right? Because why would Jerry Jones even give him a $2 million contract not knowing 100% that he's going to get reinstated? You know what I mean? Because that's kind of dumb. You're not going to reinstate a guy and 
he's not going to be on your team or you, you're not knowing that he's going to be on your team. So, I mean, that would have been a dumb move anyway. But here we are. He's here. Hopefully, Randy Gregory will get here in, in the next week or two. Now, um, he won't be able to do anything with the team until Tuesday, next Tuesday. So, this Tuesday coming. So, right after Memorial Day. It's awesome because my, my son's birthday is on Memorial Day. It's crazy. He's, he's he, My son will be one on, on Monday. I'm <sighs> Wow, proud dad. Um, it's going to be wonderful. Um, I might cry a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Tuesday is when uh, they'll get back in. They'll get back in a groove and things of that nature. And um, he'll be able to do the virtual meetings with them. He'll get his playbook. Um, and then I think I think this week coming, they'll be able to go to the facility. So he might actually get to go to the facility, get to chat with um, Mike Nolan and Mike McCarthy and... and um, and Jim Tom Sula and them. So I, I think that things are heading into the right direction slowly but surely. Now, this season, though, we don't know if it's going to be a season where we where we have fans or not. But, I mean, a modified season is better than no season as, at all. That, that That's my philosophy on it. Now, also, too, before I end this video, I want to talk real quick about Mike McCarthy. Now, Mike McCarthy... Um, since being the head coach of this team, you've seen the philosophy change, right? Um, Jesse Holly stated himself that, you know, when, when he did the rookie meetings and stuff like that, he came in and chimed in in the meeting because he wanted to see what rookies were going to be there, who was going to be paying attention, because he's basically making these players accountable. Mm, accountability. Already better than the last coaching staff because I feel like Jason Garrett was just too, too lenient. They didn't take him serious. Now with this new regime in it, these these players can't play around. They can't jerk around no more. It, it's gonna be you do it this way or your ass is out of here. That's pretty much how it's gonna be. So I'm loving the philosophy that he's bringing right now. I'm loving it because it's the ingredients to a successful season. And with this team. With this team, we know that we've had a lot of talent. The biggest thing that, that that Jason Garrett did is left meat on the bone. He has left meat on the bone. And when I say him leaving meat on the bone, it's like taking a chicken wing and taking a bite out of it and be like, all right, I'm going to eat the next one. I don't feel like eating the rest of this meat off of here. Wait a minute. There's still something on there. Uh-uh. Bring that back over here. Bring that, bring that piece. This is the thing. Mike McCarthy ain't leaving no meat on the bone. He is going to basically play these guys to the fullest of their ability. He is going to stretch this team out to their ability. This team ain't never been stretched out to their ability under Jason Garrett. We had all this talent, but, and what I mean by stretched out, I mean like there's players that they didn't even use. It's like, Having a, it's like having a brand new Maserati in the driveway or a Porsche, uh, a Cayenne, and not using it. They could have used Tony Pollard even more in that offense uh, under Jason Garrett. They could, I mean, now now you got C.D. Lamb, so you know it's going to be a pick your poison offense. Offense, so you know it's going to be so many guys, and then with C.D. Lamb, he can play all three uh, positions. Matter of fact. All of our top three receivers can play all three receiver positions. You do know that, right? Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb, all three of them. You can move them around so much, them defense's head is going to swim. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I'm so excited about it. So um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, Alden Smith is reinstated. That's the first step. You know, you got two feet, right? One foot is down, right? That next foot, it's got to be Randy Gregory. So when, when Randy Gregory gets his reinstatement, that'll be that second foot down. Um, people ask me what was the contingency plan if Alden and Randy Gregory did get reinstated. My answer to that was simply that there's some guys still out there. Now, I never wanted Jadavian, Jadavian Clowney. I didn't want him. Still don't. He he's He's a... He's a half. He's a half ass. Excuse my language. He's a he's a half ass player, and I don't want that. I want a guy with a high motor that's going to give effort twenty four seven, and that's what you have with Don Terry Poe. That's what you have with Gerald McCoy. 
I don't want none of these guys that's going to be half-assing on the field. So with that being said, um, I'm going to talk more about this, um, but this is more about the Alden Smith reinstated. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the Alden Smith reinstate statement. Again, it's under uh, conditionary reasons, meaning that he has to, there are certain things that he has to make sure that he does and don't do to, to make sure that he stays active in the NFL. So, with that being said, y'all, thanks again to all my subscribers. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and um, hit the subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. It's your boy, E2Blue, always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon.